The idea behind mobility is taking the war to the enemy. Red Horse units can build an entire base within days, including runways, aircraft hangars, and more. Because of the possibility of damaged aircraft returning home after strike missions, barrier systems stretched across the runway are even more critical at remote fields. Civil engineering, of course, has the answer. It's called the MAZ, or Mobile Aircraft Arresting System. According to Staff Sergeant Michael Firehammer, a power production specialist, these portable trailers can be installed in just about any kind of terrain. Okay, we can mount it on four different surfaces. We got a soil installation, asphalt over soil, asphalt over concrete, and a concrete installation. Of course, it takes two trailers to make up the MAZ system, one for each side of the runway. A 12-person crew, six on each side, can literally set up the entire system in a matter of minutes. Each trailer is completely self-contained, having engine-driven hydraulic power tools for drilling and all the mounting hardware to ensure the trailer doesn't move when the aircraft takes the hook. The installation team follows strict guidelines during setup, not only for their own safety, but for that of the pilots, who trust the system will work as needed. Mounting procedures can be quite varied. Special spikes are used for concrete installation, and large five-foot aluminum poles keep the trailer stationary in soft mud or soil. The number of mounts also varies. Uh, to get the system operational, all we need is two mounts. That's for if it's, the aircraft is going to engage the barrier uh, in a one direction. Uh, the maximum for like a bi-directional is three mounts uh, for a concrete installation. Each trailer has 980 feet of nylon tape, which unreels when the aircraft engages the cable. As it unwinds, more and more hydraulic fluid is pumped into the rotary friction brake. This in turn slows the aircraft down until it stops. That's a mechanically sound system, one that a pilot counts on when his aircraft's in trouble. For Boson, I'm Sergeant J.D. Harrington, AFKN News.